Hello, everybody, and welcome to Athletic Definition. My name is Coach Ray Z, and welcome to episode 105. Can you believe it? We're approaching one year anniversary for me here on Fireside and actually as a podcaster. I got access early to Fireside, which is the app for you just who listen to my podcast. It's an app on ISO for now, and it's co-founded by Fallon and Mark Cuban. And I got early access and I probably maybe sat around for a couple of weeks contemplating how to do my show. And then it, it just kind of sort of happened last minute kind of type of show because my two friends were attempting to run from Santa Monica, California to Las Vegas. So I thought, man, that would be so very cool to promote it. So that's exactly what I did. I, I decided to uh, promote it and we, we did the show. And, you know, it, in, it's a pretty insane what less than one year will do, actually, because at the time, uh, Fireside was only audio, so there was no video. And right now what I'm doing is I'm actually just, uh, I always forget to add something on the fortune cookie. And <clears throat> so for those of you who just like watch the stream or listen to the podcast, you actually don't get to see the audience. There's an audience that can come in and out on the app. Uh, there's different shows that go on, and then you can come and participate. If you do want to get access to Fireside, make sure to just uh, request access. Or if you personally know me, let me know, and I can uh, get you in quicker. And, you know, this month is basically a, a mental health, uh, actually, it happens to be a couple things actually may is national national physical fitness and sports month and it is also mental health awareness month to me they go hand in hand so i thought well you know what a perfect time for me to do a show uh talking about them both and i apparently didn't put anything on the fortune cookie or yes i did uh, all right well moving on let's see how how it looks why does it look like that? So interesting. Uh, always doing new things here on Fireside. So anytime something happens, it's sometimes a surprise to me. I can't actually see the hyperlink, but maybe it's there. All right. So some people may be like, what, what's exactly mental health awareness? I hear about it, you know, all the time, usually once a year at least. And, and, and basically it's just raising awareness around trauma impact uh, that can be anything physical emotional or, or mental well-being and then in, in as i mentioned in may it's national physical fitness and sports month to me physical fitness i love it hey coach ray z i i'm always constantly always constantly playing different sports always constantly encouraging people coaching people uh, you know, telling people, have you considered this? Or if they're injured, giving them that or letting them know what I've done or, or what has helped me. And hopefully it could help them. To me, it's a perfect month. You know, it goes hand in hand. You know, if your mental well being and physical fitness has been, you know, proven to go hand in hand because it, it releases endorphins if you're feeling kind of down, if you're feeling kind of low, you get those, uh, you know, endorphins release and then run, running, they have that runner's high that's very well known. So this uh, started back in 1983 and it was uh, aimed to encouraging Americans to adopt a, a healthy lifestyle. Me growing up, uh, growing up, I used to like to watch a lot of sports, a lot of, uh, you know, different sporting events, even though I didn't have a full understanding of the game and how it was played or the boxing match that I was watching. And I'm talking young, young, but because I, I'm a dreamer, I would watch it and I would get encouraged or inspired by the athletes that I'm watching or the spectacular play that I just watched. I can remember watching something and then running outside and trying to duplicate the play that I saw or if my friend was over, I'd run out and play receiver and he would throw me the ball and I'd try and reenact re uh, Jerry Rice, to be honest with you. 
basketball. One time I got a basketball court. It didn't take long for me and my friends to break the rim. Regardless, you know, I watched something like Michael Jordan, uh, you know, and then I run out and try and duplicate what I saw in, in during the commercials. And I run back in and watch the games. So to me, some people would be like, well, how does sports and, and physical fitness go hand in hand if, if you're only, you know, playing it? But to me, that is something that I, I think we all realized we missed when all sports w was taken away. And a lot of people have a hard time also just working out in general. S sports is such a great way to keep interest in working out. Continue to work out. Find different ways to work out or, or, or to stay motivated. Get into different leagues, softball leagues, bowling leagues, uh flag football leagues, I've seen basketball leagues, three on three leagues, you know, uh, jujitsu, you know. And so like this past show that I did, uh, this past show that I did, it was a little bit of everything on Friday, on my, my Freestyle Friday Flex show. And I talked about, you know, the, the NBA games, the UFC and the boxing, how we were having a great weekend. And, you know, it, it was a great weekend. I don't know if you guys got to watch the fights. To me, this... This is perfect, as I was mentioning, because I kind of wanted to, as my show evolves, as I evolve as a, as a podcast host, I want to talk about sports because sports is one of the major reasons why I work out, love working out, trying to, you know, the athletes that I've watched through the years have inspired me. And I'm actually thinking about doing a show. I've been going through, you know, some of the top athletes, so... If that's something you guys would like to to see, I know some baseball fans really are going to be upset and maybe some tennis fans, but I was going to remove some of the top 10 that ESPN did for like the 20th century because to me, I, I you know, there's not one MMA in there, but there's a couple baseball players or there's only one boxer. How are you going to say that fighting – which is like the ultimate gut check, whether you want to continue, quit, give up, throw in the towel, or it doesn't deserve to be in the top 10 greatest athletes. Now there's different types of countdowns I could do as far as well, you know, most influential, biggest money maker. And I think that would be easy to just right now, pretty much give it to money Mayweather, but Watching boxing, watching the Canelo fight, watching him lose. Uh, I saw an interesting meme about him talking about him, how a lot of people are hating on him because he's a dreamer, because he chased it, because he wanted to go bigger and bigger. And he wanted to be known as the greatest Mexican boxer, uh, which to have large dreams and aspirations and to go for it. And if, if you fail once and, you know, I don't think the rematch is going to be immediately. He's got, I think, Triple G coming up. And after that, he did want to take on a bigger opponent. You know, I've seen, uh, let's see, Roy, uh, Roy Jones. And that's who else was it? Roy, I think it was only Roy Jones. I thought I saw another fighter. But I remember Roy Jones going up and find, uh, fighting, I um, can't remember his first name, last name Ruiz heavyweight champion and he beat him i've seen some amazing things from amazing athletes so it i you know i'm, I'm not the biggest canelo fan but I, i'm not making fun of him for him dreaming for him going for it i to me that's awesome boxing has always had kind of like where you know i think the fans now are more mature to be like well they have one loss that doesn't mean that they're not the greatest but one loss has basically meant that we don't see the good matchups when we want to see them when they're in their prime. And because in boxing, the boxer has a lot of say also as, as far as who he wants to fight versus like on UFC, they, they will tell you, you know, you're ranked on this. So you have to fight it, so many differences, but those things like that, watching it can, can motivate you. I know a bunch of people I probably walked into like a UFC gym or an MMA gym because of watching some cool jujitsu, some cool uh, kickboxing, some cool martial art demonstrations in the UFC. So I encourage watching it as much as going out and doing it. That is one thing that I, I will s highly stress is I'd rather you go out and do the sport 
work out than actually just sit and watch it because there's depending on the sport there's a lot of baseball games and that could take up a lot of your time if you're going to be doing something like that then maybe you want to be running outside each time during a commercial break or be stretching or doing something else but overall you know nba is very entertaining right now i actually have the tv on with a volume down and miami is pretty much taking it to the sixers i believe that that'll be the final game so i think that's it that they should be out after that miami miami's a uh, stronger than i think people you know believe them going to yeah it was the finals in uh in the bubble i think playing in the bubble with no fans no home court advantage may, makes you mentally tough and i think they learned a lot from that so I, it's no surprise to me that they're advancing um you know versus Harden, whose best years are behind him, he doesn't seem to, you know, want, and he, and also he can't just blow by the guys like he used to. And now, uh, Joel Embiid, he, you know, he's definitely not 100. percent Some people will be like, you know, it's an orbital. Uh, I think it's a, not even a full break. It's like, regardless, it, it can't feel comfortable wearing a mask. He's definitely not 100, percent but. I am I'm glad I'm not a Harden fan so for them not to be you know for them not to be advancing and also he he called out Ben Simmons and basically said this is where you choke this is where you choke so now we'll see if he can evaluate himself with the same type of harshness that he did to his former teammate so besides uh, the sports going on and actually after this is the Golden State uh Memphis game which I think we were all shocked to see Memphis blow out Golden State like that. I know I was. I, I wasn't expecting that. And so besides that, I wanted to kind of touch what's going on in fitness going currently. So right now, between, um, I guess, all the gyms and everything that kind of happened during the whole pandemic, uh, Peloton was huge. It was made lots and lots of money because a lot of people were bored. They, they, they got a, a bike and they also charge for subscription. I never had one. I know a few people that do it, uh, in the early days. I'm, I'm sure it's changed a lot overall. Uh, they're dropping, they're not doing well. Their stock keeps plummeting and, uh, planet fitness. They're going in the opposite direction. It seems that less people are, you know, being more people are being less timid about what's going on and, or what happened. And they're starting to go back to the gym. The only downfall is that the economy is kind of going into, you know, with inflation, everything costing so high, a lot of people don't have that, that, extra funds so planet fitness is known for that option of having low-cost memberships they have a, a ten dollar membership that ten dollar membership gets you access to basically work out anywhere in the gym but then they have a what they call their black card membership and with that black card membership i i used to remember when it was twenty dollars then it's been uh twenty two ninety nine, but starting June first, this June first, they're gonna move it to twenty four ninety nine, and with that, actually, no, not them. It, it it already is. They're increasing their. It actually, I don't have the date when they're gonna be increasing it. Sorry, the information June first is for the subscription that I'll be telling you about, but. Uh, their price is now basically twenty five dollars. With those twenty five dollars, with that, what you can do is they have like massage, water type beds, and also tanning booths. So that gives you access to those, depending on the location, what they have. But that's typically what they have bonus, and you can pretty much use it at all the locations. They still have the ten dollar option as well. So besides that, as I mentioned, uh, they're still overall not doing the greatest it, it, i have a uh, peloton that their stock went down more than 85 percent in the last 12 months that's huge but then okay i'm just i'm just assuming that that is being compared to this what how much it rose during the pandemic which were you know we knew that that couldn't sustain forever and then planet fitness stock has fallen 11 percent. so overall even though they're starting to do good now um they're still down and i'm assuming a lot of gyms you know they 
they, especially in certain large populated states like where I live, California, they were shut down for a long time. And, uh, you know, it's basically what do you like doing now as far as working out? Uh, so one of the things that Peloton has done trying to get more people to ride their bike at home is they've, they've dropped their price from 1745 to 1445 And that includes a $250 shipping and setup fee. And then if you want the bike and the tread, the tread machine, it's like they dropped it from 2,845 to 2,695. And that includes a $350 one-time shipping and setup fee. What, so they dropped the price of their, you know, machines, but they're raising their price starting this June 1st of their subscription. So their subscription is going to go from $39 to $44 a month, which to me, that's an expensive subscription because overall, I mean, you're riding a bike. You need more than just one type of workout to be overall fit. And so to pay at least $1,500 for a bike and then to have to pay another $44, $45 a month, practically $50 a month to be part of this Peloton group, that's an expensive membership for, in in my opinion, what little you get when you can go to a gym and get a lot more, get access to more bikes, spin classes, swimming pools, you know, free weights, machines. And then if, if, since everything's going hybrid, they're not even putting themselves in a place where, you know, they could even kind of be that second or third membership that a lot of Americans may like, or gym goers may like, but, This part I don't really understand. It says that for those who don't own Peloton equipment, plans will remain at $12.99. So if I don't own it, how would I actually use the program? Maybe I'll have to reach out to someone uh, who has it so they could explain that part. So overall, um, gym gym memberships, uh, you know, they're, I would say, probably – Average, at least in California, maybe about $30 a month, about a dollar a day. So g- gyms have between, as far as members, they have between one to 10,000 members uh, with smaller boutiques under 4,000 square feet. They, they have about 100 to 500 members, and that's as of uh, March 2022. So the, bu- the gym business has always been profitable because they're depending on you to sign up and then not go. But with everything still going and inflation and costs, we'll see how the new way that everything has been changing with as far as it's the hybrid model. People want the option of working out in person, working out in person outdoors as well, and then also having that online option. And then there's so many also free apps that you can get and you can go to YouTube and different things. And, you know, I do reviews and I'll do, I'll show you workouts and me and a thousand other fitness influencers will, will do that. So those are, you know, just things to consider, see how the whole fitness will be changing to me. That whole Peloton one, if someone gave me one, I would ride it. I wouldn't pay that whole $44 subscription, especially, you know, considering, you know, a good jujitsu school would probably run you about, uh, probably about $150, depending. I guess it all depends on where you live, but I'm talking like California prices and I'm talking where they just focus on jujitsu. If you do, you know, like a UFC, which is like a UFC gym, which is a, a chain gym. They could vary just from one location to different locations to bring a friend. So I would say they probably range from maybe $30 up to like a couple hundred, depending on how many people or, you know, you want it for. The other thing now that it's uh, summertime's approaching and I know how much you guys love music. I wanted to touch a little bit about music. 
you know, with all kinds of new music coming out, hopefully that means more inspiration for you. I know for me to work out to, to listen to new music. And then that kind of reminds you of other music. And then you can have a nice session and work out. So one of the albums that has, you know, come out and I've been listening to is that Bad Bunny. It's called uh, Un Verano Sin Ti. And if you go to his YouTube channel, he's got the 360 version videos which is pretty cool. It doesn't seem to work on iPhone. Uh, you, you, you really have to do it like on a computer so you can know what I'm talking about. But I, I recorded one video like this and I'm still working on it. I did it at Soldier's Pass when I went to Sedona. But 360 videos, basically like right now in this room, you could, you could control it by on the top, say left of your screen, there would be like a joystick and you can go left, right, up or down. And so if you go to any of the Bad Bunny 360 videos, you can see the beach. You could see what's going around. You can basically spin around it. I think it's pretty cool. For those of you who, you know, have a like a desktop and want to check it out, go check out Bad Bunny. And he's pretty much got his whole album like that on 360 video. I've been wanting to do some cool workout demonstrations and post them up on YouTube. That way, if you know, sometimes you're just like, how 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 did his foot go or how did that arm go or where to place it exactly by recording it in 360 which i think is a great idea then you can really see those little insights that you may be wondering about or kind of preventing you from doing the technique properly so music music's coming out uh also in may we have the new kendrick lamar uh, album coming out so Hopefully, it's got some good tracks on there for us to work out to. Uh, and also, the Chain Smokers, they've put out some like danceable, anything that's fast beat, hip hop, uh, Post Malone's dropping in June. I went and I checked out what else is coming out, but this is a time where this is like the first year where kind of artists are kind of going back to what it was before. They're actually able to go in and touring, and uh, a lot of them kind of scratched which I, I could i understand you know the, the the whole music um so now we're getting back to we'll see what kind of music inspires us to work out to what are danceable hits i could already tell you on that bad bunny there's already some that'll i actually i put it on my instagram today so if you go to coach ray z you'll see it on on the reel that i did and it's basically just talking about the people who say it can't be done shouldn't interrupt those people who are doing it. And in the background, I put that Bad Bunny song that I'm talking about. So workout music, it's great to work out. And, you know, as, as summer's approaching, this is when usually all the good artists start dropping all their albums. So I'm looking forward to right now. I'm looking forward to Kendrick Lamar, Friday the 13th. There's actually like five other albums. The Chainsmokers is one. I guess I don't believe in that Friday the 13th uh, jinx. And then as I was looking also into currently what's going on in fitness, I came across an article with Royal Caribbean. And they were giving five ways where you could work out while you're on a cruise. And really, I think I, I, think I want to save that for a bigger show uh, because it's like, do you work out while you're on vacation? And if you worked out while you're on vacation, if you're like with your significant other, would they get mad? I know a lot of people when they go on vacation, they really just want to go on vacation and do nothing but like sit on the beach with a Corona or by the pool and tan and do absolutely nothing. So it's interesting that, you know, they're kind of, I don't know, trying to focus on fitness and they have like a climb wall and an in, in indoor track or it's indoor outdoor track. I'm not exactly sure. I saw a picture, but I've actually never been on a cruise, so I couldn't give you more insight on that. But yeah, definitely interested to see if people work out. So I would love to see some participation as far as the audience, if people work out while while they go on vacation. Me, I like to go on vacation usually and run marathons or explore as much as I can, which is like hiking, national parks, things of that nature. And I, oh, I, wanted to mention as well that um, uh, this is my exciting announcement. I know we're still in 2022 and now I'm living in the present, but I received an email today from the OC Marathon, which if any of you follow me, I could just completed my 57th marathon. What? Jeez. 
a, like a week, uh, like it's going to be two weeks this Sunday. Uh, so I just completed the OC marathon and they sent me an email and they're inviting me back to become their ambassador for 2023. So my discount code is effective as of right now, Ray runs 10. If you will be in the Orange County, Southern California area, Costa Mesa, Newport Beach, Santa Ana, the Orange Fairgrounds where it ends, then you can celebrate with me at the beer garden, have a beer with me as who knows what marathon I will be on by next year. But yeah, you could, Get some bling like me, get a discount. It'll be good on any race, the the kids race, the adult 5K, the half marathon, or the marathon. It's always the first weekend of May, so it'll be May 2023. I'm excited to be back as the OC, OC Marathon Ambassador. Looking forward to representing them and just getting more people active for this upcoming year. And I, I, I want to avenge myself on that course you know i i i it was a little bit more hilly than i anticipated nothing that you can't handle if you do the proper training but definitely excited oc marathon ambassador 2023 excited to go back excited to look to pr that is actually my pr course i've had a sub four my fastest sub four meaning running a marathon under four hours uh in the oc marathon so i since I've done it there, I want to go back. I, I'm looking forward to it, excited already, and we're a little bit under a year away. So hopefully you can join me. Tomorrow I will be back. This is uh, episode 105. My name is Coach Ray Z. You can follow me on all my social media. Athletic Definition uh, is pretty much the same everywhere. So from YouTube to Instagram to Twitter to TikTok, Coach Ray Athletic Definition. Tomorrow I will be back with a couple uh, shows. One of them will be a guest. I don't want to say a name. Everything is looking good, but until I get confirmation, he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu and from the East Coast. So I would love to get that whole East Coast jiu-jitsu f- flavor idea because I, I know a bunch of the West Coast jiu-jitsu guys. So I lo- love loving, uh, looking forward to that conversation that I'll have tomorrow. And just, you know, I see also he's into a lot of things that I am, which is like kettlebell training. So that'll be interesting. And I'll probably do a double, double dose tomorrow. So, uh, just be if you want to find out you could just follow me and you'll get an alert and you'll find out when i do i can't tell you the time specifically but i'm gonna do two shows tomorrow so be on the lookout thank you everybody for the support i see keep going in different countries uh different uh the states different states different cities so well i've reached all 50 states but I re- really appreciate everybody. So thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you tomorrow. Coach Ray Z, Athletic Definition. I'm out.